Welcome to the shop. My name is Jared. This is Wrench Every Day. Behind me is our Nissan 300ZX Earl Leaker. Well, I guess we can call it ZX too. We'll, we'll, we'll be all inclusive today. Last episode, we brought Earl from Florida up here to Georgia so that way while I'm here home, I'm able to get these motor mounts built, some of our hard fabrication done so we can actually make Earl run before I start on uh, Honda Rousey there because I had uh, that's a pretty tight time frame to get done. Today's goal is get the motor mounts, get our exhaust built up, get all of that fabrication done. Then next episode, we're pulling it out, actually installing the clutch, drivetrain, getting everything hard assembled so we can try to uh, wire and fire it up. Speaking of wiring, we don't need any of this and it's just constantly in the way. So our first course of action today to kind of get ready for our fabrication is I'm gonna jump inside pull that wiring harness out because uh, again it's just in the way kind of uh, obnoxious to work around and then we'll set up some motor mounts something else I'm gonna need to do eventually is uh, fix that light it's kind of annoying sitting there pulsing we'll hopefully not have uh, that cause uh, too much issue as my face is discoing so we'll stay away from that so that doesn't cause that problem but uh, GoPro time inside the car we go and uh, let's get the wiring harness out All right, new light bulbs installed so we don't have that flashing. Wiring harness removed. So now we're onto the motor mounts. One thing we were looking at doing, this was the Aristo, the GS mount. We're gonna use the hockey pucks as insulators. They're actually very, very good at it. Uh, you can run them a long time. It's a good density rubber, so it's not gonna be too harsh, and they're cheap. So that's the base of the mount. And I've been playing, this is actually off a of Supra with a factory mount, and I realized we could probably build some kicker plates and use an all stock mount. These just didn't really get close at all. Uh, but I decided instead, we're gonna take some plate and weld a tube down to another piece of plate here and just use the factory mount. So we're gonna have the plate with a little kicker to another plate with the hockey puck serving as our vibration mount there. So we're just gonna come here to here, do the same on the other side. A lot of people said move the motor back. We could move it back, drive shaft cross member, the engine this far in front of the axle is going to make handling not ideal, but the whole point of the build of the car, obnoxious side exit, big wing, crazy body kit, we want it to just be kind of loud, obnoxious. We're not looking to set a lap battle car, anything like that, where we're trying to set insane lap times. We are going to have a car that looks ridiculous, sounds ridiculous, spits flames. We want stupid, so we're doing stupid. It's gonna look great, engine hanging out, fireballs. Just trust us, once it's all done, you're gonna love it. We've got the motor centered in the frame rails based on the crank and we're level. Ratchet strap's just holding it gently. So now what we're going to do is take this motor mount. Actually, we'll take this one. The bolt holes are the same, but that is easier to transfer. We're gonna transfer that pattern onto a steel plate, bolt it on the block, cut a plate, and actually we're going to weld a small piece of pipe that our uh, upright's gonna go to. Get that welded together. And then we're gonna do the same thing for this side and we're gonna have a motor belt bolted in real quick. So the next step in our motor mount building process, we've got a, a little pipe. We have got our lower plates with their hockey pucks. 
this plate I'm actually going to have to get some different bolts they are a little long. But we're going to take this pipe and it'll actually get welded centered. And what this will do is we'll cut it at an angle but it gives us a plate for our pipe that we're going to mount and weld from here once we cut the angle right. It gives it something a little more robust to mount to. And again we'll have that angle cut so we can get to the nut on top. Get those two things done and get the bolts and uh, we'll have some motor mounts here. Alright, so we went raiding the scrap bin and I actually found a pretty useful piece here. So we've got our little kickers built up and then this piece, I'll actually end up shortening it so it'll center. But it's going to center in between the bolts. Oh, that fell over. Come on, one hand, we can do this all. Maybe not. Come on, we can do it. Stay. Stay. Boy, that's uh, that's talent. So, that's gonna land. Okay, it's gonna land about there, <laughs> and uh, we'll shorten and cut the angle into the pipe where it meets the mount there, and tack it in, and we got one side set up and then we get started on to the other. And we have got motor mounts. We've got the long kicker going back there. I still need to uh, do polish work on it. My uh, grinder apparently didn't make it in the move so I need to pick a new one up tomorrow. This is a real short one. I thought that would be the easier side and it actually fought a whole lot. So going to round off the edges of our bottom plates. I need to get all new hardware because we're using plate. The bolts are all way too long, so we're going to, in the morning, pick up new bolts, a new grinder, so I can actually clean those up, because some of it uh, ended up welding a little ugly. But, motor is secure, so next steps, we're going to get that exhaust fabbed out, and then uh, we're preparing ourselves for the next episode to strip the whole thing apart and actually mount it for real. So we've got it cut down. I had to actually go through and, and cut. I didn't get to keep as much as I want because as I was cutting that weld, I cut through. So we've now got it set to where our new flange, I guess our old flange, fits the new pipe. So we'll be able to go get this bolted in, spin it to the position we need, and then give it a uh, quick couple tacks, and then uh, keep working on building the pipe out. Okay, just uh, cleaned up the hole a little bit more. The sharp, rough, jagged edges are uh, polished out. And I really wish we could have kept that extra length because when we get this in here, I mean, we could kind of force that, but we're rubbing right there. So we're going to space this out a little bit. So I'll cut a little straight section and then we'll extend right there. So two little straight extensions. And that almost gets us perfect. There we go. All tacked in. Makes our nice little swing. Kicks out. Now I'm not cutting that short until we actually have the fenders remounted so we can actually kind of cut the cool curved scallop to it. One other thing I'm going to add is actually another exhaust hanger on this outside section. Even though we have a flex, so we don't want to necessarily mount it here because it's before the flex. So we want to take some of the weight off the turbo, but until the body's on I'm not able to, to fabricate that. But that gives us a nice little shootout. There we have it. Downpipe one solid piece coming out here waiting for the body kit to go back on when he goes back to Florida so we can uh, trim that out make it nice and uh, ridiculous I have that set on the level so we're gonna kinda cut at a cool angle and try to make that large some of the few things that we're still gonna end up fabbing in the future instead of reboxing this whole structure I'm actually gonna run a steel plate and basically a piece of roll bar tubing 
to the firewall here to uh, act as a strong brace and I'm actually going to run another one from here back as well above and below that pipe so we regain all of the strength we need there without going through a bunch of uh, sheet metal work which is going to be tricky because the exhaust lives right there. So next episode engine comes back out. We finish grinding painting the motor mounts getting them looking good. We're going to clean and prep the engine bay give it a fresh coat of paint so it looks a little bit nicer and stops rusting. Then after that we have prepping the engine transmission getting the intake manifolds on reinstalling it for the last time, plumbing fuel and uh, startup so we can make some fire out of that side. That's going to do it for today's episode. I want to thank you for hanging out with us. As you can tell by my breath, it's starting to get cold and we're under kind of that winter warning uh, ice threat. So I'm going to go ahead and make the uh, trip back to the house so I'm not stuck out in the weather. So I'm Jared, reminding you to always make questionable choices. And just because you have four-wheel drive doesn't make you stop any better when it's snowy and icy. We'll see you later. <music>